Hi, this is Jyoti from BIMES. In my last tutorial, I have explained you how you can import the AutoCAD drawings using the drawing tool. And in this tutorial, I am going to explain you the second step uh, method, which is how to import the DWG file as XREF files. I hope you will enjoy this tutorial. In order to explain this, I have uh, two DWG files. For example, here you can see ground floor and first floor as two separate drawings. As you know, in case of brick projects, we usually have two dip each and every floor plans in separate drawings and sections and elevations. So how this will help if the drawings are different. Now first, I'm going to create a new worksheet, which is for the ground floor. And now I'm going to use the XREF method. So for this, I'm going to file external content and then attach XREF. And over here, I'm choosing the extra file. So now I'm going to insert the ground floor drawing. And the advantage of using extra is that you can play with the layers. And it is not a one object, like you can switch the elements and your layers on or off. And each and every element would be like lines, dimensions, everything will be splitted. And it is like the drawing you created in ArchiCAD. But it would be locked, so you cannot edit the content of the drawing. What you can do is you can play with the layers and you can change the pen sets and other things but you cannot select or delete any element over here. And here the main thing which you have to note in case of uh, using the XREF method in case of big project is that you should always use the AutoCAD origin as ArchiCAD origin. This will help a lot because as you know in big projects the origin is constant or the project origin is going to be constant so we no need to shift the drawings every time in multiple floors so it's better that you switch off specify on screen option so AutoCAD origin will match with ArchiCAD origin and here you have to note that anchor point so drawings own origin which this means that ArchiCAD, AutoCAD origin will be at ArchiCAD origin and then in the settings you can define the working units or what is the Auto AutoCAD drawing unit and then I'm going to attach and here you have the option of choosing which layers you want to import and now I want to import all the elements now you can see I have received the AutoCAD drawing over here and this is the ground floor plan and now I'm going to insert a first floor in a new worksheet And this is again empty, so I'm going to external content, attach XREF. I'm going to choose the first floor drawing. I'm again make sure that the specify on screen is unchecked, so it should be at zero zero. And now okay, now again it comes to the origin. So what is the advantage of this? Is that if I go to the ground floor and now I want to use my ground floor drawing as reference for tracing I just right click on the ground floor worksheet and say show as trace reference and here you can see the reference is shown and I can choose the wall and I can measure the length ok 9 inch it's fine 9 inch and now I can start drafting the wall so this way I can continue my tracing and once I have finished the ground floor so I navigate to the first floor and as you know in first floor I want to use the first floor as dr drawing as a reference so I just right click over here and say show as trace reference and now you can see all the drawings since it has the origin as a common point so the drawing will always overlap each other if you find any discrepancy then you have to shift the drawing either in ArchiCAD or in AutoCAD but if the drawings were correct then for sure when you insert all the AutoCAD drawings in a separate worksheet by using the uh, origin as a constant then all the drawings will superimpose each other in that case you no need to do any settings you can just go and start tracing
and now we can check the 3D result okay that's fine now let me change the height of this wall so that you can see now it is properly matching each other so this thing is very useful if you are having many drawings and you know that okay the origin of the project or the drawing is constant then you can use the extra method and not only this now you have the option of switching the layers on and off so that is a new toolbar or which is actually the old one but many people might not know this one there is a toolbar called quick layers this toolbar will help you in switching on and off the layers very quickly for example now I go to the ground floor worksheet and as I mentioned it is not a drawing if I select any element now it's in a group so I suspend the group now I can select this this is line this is a text box again text and this is circle so each and every element you can see and if I check the layer settings it imports all the layers and the attributes but you can see in the layer settings it creates a splitter line and then creates all the extra drawing just below this one with the name of the file and then you can see with extension of all the layers so what is the advantage of this if you detach the drawing all these layers will go off but if you want to merge then you can import these attributes into the current project or else you can detach the drawing then all these layers will be automatically removed not only the layers even the fill types pen types and then uh, line types if you have any custom line types everything will be removed now for example now I don't do, I don't want to see the text information over here so I can select this text and send and then here with this toolbar I can say selection layers hide so it will hide the selected element layers wherever it is available in the project and now I can go back to the ground floor and now you can see there are no texts shown say show as trace reference and now if you want you can say undo and still you can see the text is not shown but if you go to the ground floor you can see the text this is because you have a toolbar option in the trace and reference here we can choose what we want to see like for example dimensions there are no dimensions so if I say text I want to see the text now I can see the text or it is like an interactive where you can say no I don't want to see the lines I don't want to. if you want to switch off you can switch off all these elements as you know if you import as xref it is not one drawing it is actually all the 2d elements and I can say original color so you can see these text box you can switch it off from here so now if I don't want to see the circle I can say circle so all the circle will go off or maybe the lines so all the lines will go on. and text and switch off this will switch off all the text but if you want a specific content or maybe specific elements and specific layer then you can use this quick layers you can go to the worksheet select the element the which layer you want to hide and then you can say selection layer hide and you have the option of undo and redo this would help if you are frequently switching on and off the layers you can use this undo and redo at this time one more thing you should notice that if once you completed all the tracing options and then you don't want these drawings anymore so you should detach these drawings don't just select the drawing and delete it because this won't remove all the attributes which we have imported for this you have to go back to external content extra manager and here you can see all the drawings which you have imported or used as xref then you should select the drawings and then say detach 
and then this will ask you whether you want to remove the layers line types and fills so if you want you can remove or if you want to keep that you can keep the extra attributes so in my in this case I say remove and say ok now the drawing is removed it's empty now I have the floor plan contents and if I go to the layer settings you can see those layers has been removed and that's for today thank you very much for watching